Well, welcome to the Civil War poem of Barbara Fritchie, illustrated with antique hand-painted glass slides projected on the big screen just as they were more than a hundred years ago by the Magic Lantern. Now, Grandma Fritchie was an old woman who lived in Frederick, Maryland, just over the border from the south. And one day, the southern armies came marching into her town. Now it was a pleasant morn in the early fall, and Lee's cavalry came over the mountain wall. And then troops and cannon came winding down, horse and foot, into Fredericktown. Up rose old Barbara Fritchie then. Bowed with her four score years and, and ten. She was more than ninety years old. But bravest of all in, in Fredericktown, she took up the flag. The men hauled down in the attic window. The staff she set to show that one heart was loyal yet. Up the street, came the rebel tread. Stonewall Jackson, fighting ahead. Head, hold. The Dust Brown ranks stood fast. Ready, aim. It slivered the window, pane and sash, but quick as it fell from the broken staff, Dame Barbara snatched the silken scarf and shook it forth with a royal will. Shoot, if you must, this old gray hen, but spare your country's flag, she said. of sadness to give it a name. Over the face of the leader came. Who touches her hair on yon gray head dies like a dog. March on, he said. Well, Barbara Fritchie, poem by John Greenleaf Whittier. The performance obviously was a live performance. Uh, before fifth graders, uh, sponsored by the Gaston County Museum in North Carolina. And of course, what the kids wanted to know about was the gun. Here was the answer I gave them. Uh, the gun going off. Uh, this is just a stick, right? Just a stick. When I came out on stage, what was it? A cane, right. Then when I came out as Barbara Fritchie, do you notice I had it down low, so I was using it as a kind of crutch. Then I was up on stage raising the flag, what was it? Flag flag? Flagpole, yes. Then, I got it. And then I came down and what was it? A sword. A sword, right. Now this is just a stick. How could it turn into five different things so fast? Yes, your imagination. Did you know that your imagination is the most powerful force in the world. And that's what I meant when I said, you are the magic of the Magic Lantern Show. Now, I did help your imagination along a little bit. I had a little cup in my hand, and the cup has a little thing like a cigarette lighter on it. It makes a little spark, and in the cup was some special kind of cotton. When the spark hit the cotton, it went poof. Helped it make it look, help make it look like a gun. But that's what artists do. They help your imagination along. That's the way the teachers are helping your imagination along. Thank you all very much. Stay in your seats, please. Thank you. Thank you. So, if you've been enjoying our shows, 
please help us out. Give us a thumbs up. Spread the word with your friends on social media and press that subscribe button. Thank you.